Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It is only one week to go, guys. Just one more week and we could be playing with this new content. And I just can't wait. I seriously cannot wait. Just one more week, guys, and we can get our hands on this new update, plus the DLC, A Rift in Time. So Disney Dreamlight Valley posted a picture on Twitter last night. Now, this is the picture that is on their website, but I've never really paid attention to it or gone into a little bit more details on this image. So the first thing that I want to talk about is this tweet. So it does say new expansion, new animal companions, new nicknames. Do you already have a name for this little capybara pal? So are we going to be able to name our companions in this update? That is going to be amazing if we can. Honestly, that would be so cool. Over on Twitch, me and my community named our rainbow fox Skittles. So it would be really, really nice to finally actually add that name to that companion and have him called Skittles for real. This would be so cool if we can do this. I am pretty sure that this means that we can. I don't know any other reason why they would say new nicknames. So I'm thinking that we can now name our companions. What are you going to name yours? So let's take a little bit of a more deeper look into this image. So we can see there are new trees and these trees do look incredible. I really do like them. There's new bushes and new foliage. Um, we can see some new flowers here. Um, it looks like that there is a um, Venus flytrap right there, which looks awesome. Um, we do know that there are going to be some new harvestables as well with this new DLC. So that's also something to really look forward to. We have the capybara, the snake, the monkey, which is so, so cool. And oh my goodness, look at that. I didn't even notice that. A dragonfly. That is pretty cool. I do like that. So is that going to work the same way as like the butterflies do? This is just going to be in one of the new biomes fluttering around. And I really do like the, the, the look of that dragonfly though. Can't believe I didn't spot that before. That is awesome. But yeah, so we can see quite a few new items in this particular image. Obviously the trees, the, the, the plants and everything. It looks so cool. I like the new waterfall there. That looks really, really nice. Also, could this be a new pose? Could this be exclusive to the capybara? You know how we have exclusive poses for certain companions. Is this one going to be locked to the capybara? So this is their pose. I mean, it would be so cool if we could have more poses in the game, especially now with Dream Snaps. And, you know, we take these Dream Snaps quite seriously. Well, I do anyway. Um, it would be nice to have some more poses for the camera so that we can do a little bit more and be more creative with our dream snaps. You know, poses such as sitting down or having our arms in the air and some facial expressions, like proper facial expressions, because the ones that we have uh, kind of uh, makes my, my character look constipated and I don't like it. <laughs> but yeah, some more expressions and some hand gestures and things like that would be amazing to have with our camera so more poses is definitely needed but I think this one is probably going to be locked just to the companion so when you're posing with your capybara it's probably going to look like this I am so excited for this update I could literally burst we have just got one more week to go and I just can't wait what are you guys most looking forward to are you looking forward to the free update with Jack Skeleton and everything coming or are you excited for the DLC like I am? I cannot wait to get in to see three more biomes and have some more space and just have a look at all of the characters that are coming with that, such as Eve. I cannot wait to get her to go and see Wally. It's just going to be so emotional. Now, they did also post a little while ago a hint to the next star path. Now, we have already had a few hints for the star path. And I don't think it's going to be a festive Christmassy star path. I think this is just going to be a winter themed star path. So we have seen items such as the ice skating rink. We've also seen Belle's winter outfit, which kind of does look Christmassy. Um, but I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. But their tweet did say a new star path is starting in just two weeks. Well, a week now. 
But can you guess some of the upcoming items from these emojis below? Now we can see a snowman and a raccoon, a butterfly and a snowflake and some ice skates. Now we know that the ice skate is probably going to be referring to the ice skating rink that we already know. We have seen this in the teaser. We've seen this in the showcase. Um, so this one is probably going to be the ice skating rink. I don't think that this is going to be interactable. I don't think we're actually going to get to go and skate on it, um, even though that, that would be so cool if we could. The next one is the, the snowman and the raccoon. Are we going to get a winter themed raccoon just like we did with the festive fox? We do have that that came with the last star path last year. So could this be a winter themed raccoon, you know, with a scarf on or something? That'd be so cute. Um, and then we have the butterfly and snowflake. Now, I am a little bit like, what could this be? Because I love butterflies, okay? But I'm thinking that I don't think it's going to be butterflies. I think it's going to be something to do with wings. Now, we already have an icy wings. So I'm thinking, well, that is kind of a winter themed wing. Maybe we're going to get something a little bit more sparkly. Um, so maybe some wings, um, some winter themed wings that's got maybe Christmas lights on or something. That would be kind of awesome. Um, I would never take those off. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think to these particular items that are coming to the star path that we've literally got one week to go and we can find out absolutely everything? I'd be keeping a close eye on Disney Dreamlight Valley socials this week as I reckon this week in the lead up to next Tuesday, we're going to be getting so much more information. And now is the time to subscribe to the channel, guys, because I am going to be covering absolutely every inch of this update and expansion pack and everything that is coming between now and next Tuesday. I reckon between now and next Tuesday, Disney Dreamlight Valley is going to be posting daily, giving us little hints here and there of what is to come next Tuesday. And I cannot wait. Leave your comments down below, guys. I'd love to know what you guys think. And uh, if you have liked this video, please do give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe while you're there because you're not going to want to miss an inch of information. And I will see you all in my next video. Have the most wonderful rest of your day, guys.